Our first school districts continue with in person classes, but hundreds of jobs openings across the state remain unfilled. Now, Active 7 News reporter Stella Sun tells us what the Public Education Department and the Teachers Union has to say about this issue. Hey, Kaylin, just take a look at the number of part time and full time job openings in Albuquerque Public School Districts alone. You can see they've even posted up the sign looking for bus drivers and many other school districts across the state are in the same boat. There are mixed feelings for those in the education field with face to face instruction back in session. Even though they're really happy to be in person with their students, they feel exhausted and there's a high level of stress, especially because there are COVID cases that are being identified every day. Ellen Bernstein with the Albuquerque Teachers Federation says schools everywhere are doing all they can to keep students and staff safe, but the virus can still spread. And even though a lot of things are working, there are still a lot of struggles going on. Bernstein says the education field in New Mexico has an older workforce. She says nearly a quarter of school staff are older than 55. I asked Public Education Department Secretary Ryan Stewart if he's concerned about teachers retiring early after the PED required in-person teaching to resume. It does keep me up at night wondering how what the impact of this pandemic is going to be on our educator workforce. I also asked him about staff shortages in many school districts across the state. We're always looking for more highly qualified nurses and bus drivers and counselors and social workers. We know we have shortages in, in those areas and others. Stewart says it's too early to tell what this means for districts as they prepare for the new school year. Bernstein says they'll have to wait and see. It's difficult to be back in person and worry about whether or not that diligence of keeping themselves and their family safe is going to pay off in the long run. If you're looking for part time or full time work, head over to each school district's website to see what's unfilled. Reporting in Albuquerque, I'm Stella Sun, KOAT Action 7 News. So thank you. No official decision has been made yet, but the superintendent for Albuquerque Public Schools tells us they're considering starting the academic school year a week early in the fall. We'll let you know when there's an official date.